Hi guys, welcome back to Our Wyoming Life. My name is Mike and today we are moving almost every single cow on the ranch from one pasture to the next and sometimes even farther. These guys get to go for a little ride and so do you as you continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary right here on Our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Well guys, all the hay is put up on the ranch, which means that we've got it all stacked here in our hay yard. Give you a little glimpse around here. Stacks over there. Stacks over here. And there goes Jeff with the tractor. We're done stacking hay. In fact, we're done with haying. And nothing makes me happier because all this food that's back here is what is going to get the cows through the winter. But it's not winter yet. And we've still got fall to look forward to and a little bit of summer left. So today we're actually moving cows all over the ranch. Because we have all the hay back here and stacked up, it means it's no longer in fields and it's no longer in the way. I don't have to worry about cows ruining bales if we let them into certain pastures. So. And that, well, mainly that's because we ended up cutting a lot of different stuff that we normally wouldn't cut. So we actually cut outside of hay fields and cut more pasture this year. And because we cut more pasture, that means that we couldn't move the cows until we got the hay taken care of. But now that the hay is put up and put away, that means that we can move cows all over the ranch. We have a couple really big pro important projects to get done today, and they all center around moving cattle. Um, we have our steers, which are on this side of the road. You saw them there in my little intro. You can actually see them back there. They're walking across the pasture. They are in what we call the triangle pasture, and they have been for a little while just because we've been doing so much construction on the RV park. That construction ran into haying, which then got delayed but now we are completely done over there we've got all of our fencing done and it's time to move our steers over to the pasture where they're supposed to be while we're at it we're going to go ahead and get a weight on them so we're going to run them through the AeroQuip uh, corral system through the chute and get a weight on them with the true test scales then we are going to move them by trailer over to their new pasture and drop them off and hope that all the fencing that we did holds up and holds true then we are going to move farther back on the ranch to our heifers. Uh, they are first time moms and they're actually down there with the bull, the brand new bull, LOL. He's hanging out with them, but the his time with them is now over. So we have to sort him off of those heifers and put him in with the older cows and do Vader, our other bull, who's servicing those cows. LOL is going to go in there and give them a little bit of love and hopefully wrap things up. They have about another month left with the cows then. The heifers are going to move to summer pasture and that's where they're going to stay for the next three or four months. Then we take the cows and we move them along with LOL and Doof into the pasture that the, heifer cow the heifers were in. Anybody confused yet? I'm getting there. We're going to move them to that pasture where the heifers were. Then we have a bunch of older cows. These cows had a calf this year, but unfortunately we are not breeding them back. They are old cows. Um, they're gonna have problems with breeding. In fact, at the end of this season, they are actually gonna go into the jerky plant. So they get to move down as well to the next pasture where they get some fresh food, fresh water, and a change of scenery. With that, we will be done for the day, hopefully. And hopefully everything goes smooth. To get us started, Let's head back to the corrals where Jeff is now hopefully pulling in our trailer and getting some gates set so we can bring in some cattle. If you notice, we're doing something a little bit different here and that is using the tractor with the stock trailer just to see how this whole thing works. Jeff just got done backing it up. Jeff, how did that, uh, how'd that feel? That's not a good idea. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, backing with no mirrors is not a, an opportunity. Uh, I never use my mirrors when backing up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> haven't you ever heard of a backup camera, man? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, well, anyway, you're backed up. So now we have to go get some steers. By the way, this is Jeff. Jeff's our ranch hand. He's with us here for another couple months. When, when are you planning on leaving? The uh, end of November? November-ish. November-ish. So we got to put up with him for a little while longer. But... <laughs> Um, it's September-ish. It is September. <laughs> Still got lots of summer left and fall and parts of winter and yeah. probably have some 
spring in there somewhere and <laughs> yeah we'll mix it up all right um let's go grab our are we all ready for for steers to go in here no oh okay well let's do that okay. and then uh we'll work our way backwards So what Jeff and I are doing is walking backwards through the corrals. This makes sure that all of our gates are set. Um, I can tell you this, every time I have thought that I had the corrals set up correctly, I have not. So it works out good to ba walk backwards um, through these things. You'll save yourself a lot of trouble in the long run, trust me. All right, all of our gates are set. The little piggies and the emus are expecting company and we can run and grab a couple four wheelers and bring these steers in to get weighed and eventually moved over to their new digs where they've got fresh grass to eat and uh, hopefully can put on a few more pounds before they end up in finishing school. Ready to go? Oh, no, I don't. We have four wheelers. Grab up your four wheeler. Kind of makes you think about So right here we've got 17 of our favorite steers that are on the ranch. These guys are just over a year old. Over the next six months or so, they'll be working their way through finishing school. And uh, well, to your plate. All gonna fit in the tub? Yeah, they will. Sweet. Come on. Come up there. All right, Jeff and I got them into the uh, into the uh, tub thingy. We're gonna start moving them up through the chute, which they're already doing, and heading towards the squeeze chute, where we'll get their weight. And I'll show you how we're gonna do that. But first, we gotta get some cows. All right, we're gonna bring one in. Is our scale on? Ready to go? Okay, I'm gonna bring one of these guys in here. Come on, dude. Okay, and the nice thing is True Test actually links right to your phone. So all I have to do is put in his visual ID. Did you happen to see his number? 
Neither did I. Does he even have a number? No tag. No figures. Okay. Um, no tag. Weighs 730 pounds. And I hit record. And there he is. He has entered. Cool. That's it. Super amazing how easy that is. You combine things like the AeroQuip Corral that are simple and easy to use, along with True Test RFID technology and scales. Uh, boy, this is just, uh, it's almost too easy. nice thing is I can just take this record that I made and just I can text it myself I can email it to myself um, I think I will send it and I can send it directly to cattle max which is our uh, cattle management program that we use on the computer so I'm gonna send it directly to cattle max and a little spinning thing and it is done entered in all of our new weights for today for these steers next thing we've got to do is get them in a trailer Jeff, what's your bet? How many are going to fit in a trailer? Twelve. Twelve. That's Jeff's bet. I'm going to say, because I just find this would be really annoying if we could hit 16 and we had one left. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be the way it usually works? Yeah. All right, let's bring them in. That's Jeff's guess. 12 calves. Steers, I guess. Keep going, guys. All right, send some more. Still got room.
know if this is going to work. I think we're going to hit 16. Yeah, see if you can close it. They're pretty tight. Look at that. Close it up. Let's leave this one. You called it. I did call it, but now what do we do? <laughs> Alright, let's uh, see if we can just get him back down here in the alley. We just leave him in the alley. We'll be right back for you, buddy. What I was really hoping was you wouldn't have to back this thing up twice. Nope. Yeah, there ain't no more fitting. There you go. Let's close that. He'll, he'll stand there and wait for us. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go across and drop these guys off. You got your gate slashed? No, not yet. Pull forward a little bit. I'll latch your gate for you and I'll meet you over there. All right, Jeff, you're good to go. You and I are going to jump in the gator, run across there and give Jeff a hand dropping these guys off. It's really a shame we couldn't fit that one last steer in there, but it really doesn't surprise me that that's the way that it worked out because that's just the way, well, things work out here on the ranch most of the time. So we've got one more steer to run back and grab. Um, he will get the VIP treatment because he'll be all by himself in that big old trailer. Jeff, you get to wash the trailer. <laughs> Lots of grass over here for them to eat, and the whole goal is that by having them on pasture, we get them up to that about that 850 pound mark. Uh, they were averaging back there when we weighed them in about 750. So if we can get them another 100 pounds before they go in to finishing school, um, then when they go on corn, oats, and barley, they gain a little bit more weight. They end up around 1,200 pounds or so uh, when they finally head off to freezer camp or to the processor whatever you want to call it. So this little bit of land that they're on now will hopefully do that and uh, all the fresh grass that they can, they can stand for a little while until the big day. And there we go, they're all moved over here. Um, we're gonna get some water set up for them. But other than that, they're good to go. And uh, we'll get that done. And then we're gonna meet you down with some bigger cows, with some heifers, as we attempt to get LOL, our heifer bull, well, in with the main herd and off his girls, which might be trickier than I thought it would be.
And that, my friends, is our backyard. Uh, nothing better than uh, being able to cruise around and beautiful land. I've been all over the world. Nothing like being home, that's for sure. So we just found our heifers back here. Uh, we're back about uh, two miles away from home, two and a half miles or so. Um, we just found our heifers. Hopefully LOL is down here as well. And we got to try to get these guys moved down to summer pasture. Luckily, they're within a few hundred yards um, of the gate. So this might be a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. right down there. We're actually in the one-legged windmill pasture. Right through that gate down there is summer pasture. It's about 2,300 acres, wide open, and uh, ready for them to hang out in for the next few months. So. Mad, Jeff. I think you might be a little disappointed. I think he's a little mad. Uh, so we just took away all his girlfriends, and uh, but that's cool. We're gonna bring in more girlfriends, hopefully. So we're gonna bring Doof Vader along with all of the middle-aged cows down here to hang out with him. That's the the next stop of our process, anyway. And uh, until then, he can hang out down here and pout. He has been in with the heifers for two months, so his time there is done. Now he moves on to the next stage of life. So with a two month uh, breeding season, hopefully the heifers will be calved out in two months. We will actually preg check at some point in October. We'll find out who's pregnant and who's not so that we can make sure that our jobs are all done. So he is now in with these girls. We have to move these girls back into the pasture where the heifers just were. We're shifting everybody just a little bit to the south. Let's go, come on. Okay, so these are our middle-aged cows. These are the cows that are basically our breeding herd, uh, minus our heifers right at this point, heifers again are the first time moms. These are the experienced moms and they're gonna be staying on the ranch for quite a while. Um, they are hopefully bred. Duke Vader is in here and now LOL is in here to do his thing for the next month or so. Then we'll take Duke Vader and LOL both out of here. But for now, we wanna get them down to the next pasture so that we can free up this pasture for our jerky cows. Is there a fight going on up there? Tracker Jack is not a fan. He doesn't like OLOL? Yeah. Yeah, let's go check it out. Yeah. All right, apparently there's a fight happening up here. Uh, Cracker Jack and LOL are not fans of each other. We're going to check it out. See what's going on and hopefully still keep everybody moving in the right direction. Come on, guys.
they seem to have worked out their differences. Maybe. So the nice thing about these older cows is they've done this before. They know how this works. So they know where the gate's at and they just go right to it. And just like that, we're done. We've got these guys moved into here, which is the windmill pasture, which is where the heifers were. Heifers are now on summer pasture. There's Duke Vader, by the way. Maybe he'll go teach L and L LOL a few things. Um, now we gotta go back a little bit farther. We're gonna go back to the home pasture and we're gonna move those jerky cows up into the next pasture so they've got some fresh food to eat. So it's just a, you know, one right after the other, kind of like dominoes. And there goes LOL, hopefully to hook up with his new mentor. A little bit farther down the road and we'll find our next group of cows that are ready to move. All right, Jeff up here, who's on top of his game, he's already got the gates open. Um, these are the jerky cows we're gonna be moving next. This is their last summer on the ranch. They're gonna be going to do jerky processing here this fall, around December or so. I think they have a date. They have calves on them now. Um, those calves will be rotated into either the breeding herd or into our feedlot program. But for now, they get probably the nicest pasture on the place. They're going to come down here and they get to hang out in the hay field. They get to clean this up and then they're going to move on um, down to another pasture, which is really nice as well. So these guys, uh, for their last summer, it isn't too bad. We always say that every animal only has to have one bad day on the ranch. These guys are about to have a one really good day. You know where they're at? Big fish pond. Okay. They were when we left. <laughs> Let's go find him. Morning. Let's go! Come on, Mama! Come on, let's go! I feel bad saying it, but this is kind of like the geriatric division. Did you see her trying to get up? Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be very simple, easy, kind of like uh, easy listening. This is Glenn Miller band. <laughs> We're going to move these guys through very slowly yeah. and very easily. Yeah, I hope. I hope.
The average age of cows in this group is about 11 years old. These are some older cows that have been here on the ranch forever. That are ending their time here on the ranch before too long. There it is, 12 cows and 12 calves that get to go out here and enjoy some of this nice pasture for themselves. These girls, their last few months on the ranch, but their calves give the ranch a future well beyond most of us could even conceive. The steers, they go on to our feedlot program. The heifers stay here on the ranch and become part of our breeding herd. It's a uh, circle of life kind of thing and makes a lot of sense to me considering that these cows gave their entire lives to the ranch kind of like we do thanks guys for hanging out with us we've got everybody moved the only thing that didn't move today on the ranch was actually the 10 steers that are in the feedlot now and we'll be checking on them in the upcoming weeks and talking about what's happening with them and how their nutritional uh, needs are changing here on the ranch we're also going to be taking a look at a whole lot more we've got project projects on the way we've got some really cool stuff coming up from hustler equipment we can't wait to share with you and a whole lot more so thank you for coming along be sure to subscribe follow along as we continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary hit the little bell button so you get notifications whenever a new video comes out and once again thank you very much we hope you have a great week and thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life <laughs>